Welcome to Local Discography. This is the Introducing the artist Lola Balter. She is a singer songwriter, and the song we're gonna be looking at today is called Again. I originally uh, found her on YouTube by looking up small artists, setting the uh, the um uh, the search filters things to number of views, and then scrolling all the way down, all the way down to the bottom. gonna need to get really creative with how I find these artists. <laughs> and for a artist with only 425 uh, YouTube subscribers, I do not think that she's going to stay very small for very long with the fact that quite a few of her videos have actually gotten quite a lot of attention, even though she's only released about like seven or so uh, songs. She has the advantage of her music sounding very professionally produced, which is something that you don't find in a lot of really uh, small artists. And uh, it's very, very cool to see someone uh, like Lola have a production that, is, that sounds as professional as it does, even though it is still Sing it kind of has more of that singer songwriter feeling very very acoustic there is some more uh um creative production around the acoustic sound of it but it also maintains that feeling of being acoustic while still being very uh professionally produced a lot of her fans tell her that she sounds a lot like billy eilish mixed with uh olivia rodrigo and um that is what i thought at first when I heard it and uh, I think she also um, knows that that's what a lot of her um, listeners uh, think she sounds like uh, but I do think she is a she's an artist in her own right and her voice is um, again very professional and also very um, very she has a very emotional voice and a very good voice and it definitely suits the kind of um, acoustic and kind of uh, emotional sound that she normally goes normally goes for. She's very good at kind of holding back on the um, on uh, just going all in heavy for a lot of things. She knows when to, when to uh, kind of hold back on certain things and then go forward on certain things. She's also a very good lyricist definitely uh very good at getting her kind of ideas across um for the for the song that we're talking about today um again uh by lola balter um she uh said in one of her uh videos that it's about the uh the struggle of uh, holding on to something that is slipping away and you can kind of get that you get that feeling from the from the song she seems kind of like not just sad but a little bit like angry that the thing that she's really really trying to hold on to is really just there's no hope of kind of uh keeping it or whatever and I think that that comes across very very well and also one of the reasons I don't think that she's going to stay very small for very long is that uh she's very very social media present um and I think that's helping her get her awareness pretty much everywhere which is why I was even uh hesitant to even put her in one of these videos because um I'm scared that by the time that this uh video comes out she will have gained a much bigger following and may not be considered a small artist anymore but small artist is a big big range so I can manage but yeah one thing that is very uh, nice about this artist is that the song sounds very real and uh, very um, raw and natural even though it does have that professional production but it also sounds very um, like it could just be it coming from someone who is sitting on their bed uh, 
playing a guitar and um that is kind of the the atmosphere that the this artist gives but um i know that they spend a lot of put a lot of uh thought into wanting to make sure that they have all the right equipment all the right everything sounds correct and done before it goes out and um not all uh small artists do that some do some release like everything some do other things uh but she's very much like if this one the song is like perfect then it'll come out is what it kind of seems like and she says that uh she puts out one song um every month which is a little bit different to uh what many artists have in their schedule it's more of a modern release schedule i would say in terms of um in terms of the meat if you're thinking like youtube releases versus like a um uh streaming show releases where one's like every like three years we'll put out something versus youtube it's like once every couple weeks we'll put out something and it's she has more of it seems like she has more of that mindset rather than the um i'm gonna make an album every couple years kind of mindset which I think for her does benefit her I would be very interested if she did ever end up doing um an album or uh if that was ever her intention but also um I do think that the way that she does it also does suit her um artistic style and uh artistic choices yeah I highly recommend going to uh Check her out, uh, support her, all that kind of thing. And that's it for this episode of Expanding the Discography on the local discography. Keep supporting small artists, keep staying creative, keep being original, and above all else, have a fantastic day. Bye.